Hello viewers, here is a carrier air conditioner. Long time viewers might remember a video of a unit that looked like this. That particular video was recorded in a deceased relative's house amongst several other vintage air conditioners in that house. This is not that same unit. It is the same series. That one was a 21 and this one is a 12. Now all those units last I knew which was as of late last summer were all still there and still in service and I believe that is the plan for those machines. I don't think that there are any plans uh, for the new owner of that house to remove the machines but my uncle does still keep in contact with the guy occasionally you know because they live right down the street so Hopefully, if those units ever do get discarded or removed from service, I will be able to get them. Anyways, uh, I picked this up recently. I have an interest in these carrier models, this one in the International Series, because I grew up with the International Series at my grandparents' house, which is also still there and still in service. And these are pretty much the same thing a couple of years later. This particular one is a 1994 instance. I don't know if these were sold alongside the International Series or if these were the predecessor or the successor of the International Series. I guess probably came after because I know the Internationals were 85, 86, 87, 88. 89 more or less and this is 94 I forget when the other one was from I think the other one was from earlier than that or, or I mean more recently than that I might have been like late 90s or even early 2000s you know, I really don't even remember anymore this has been too long but anyways uh, I got this one here it did come with uh, with the control thing one of the little tabs is broke so it doesn't stay on but at least it's there and I can fix that somehow it also came with a bunch of uh, other stuff came with several of these I'm not really sure what they are it came with the side panels this one is not doing too good this one seems to be going in the same direction these are only plastic, which is shocking to me. This, a unit this big would be held up with plastic uh, side panels. And then it also came with uh, with this, which I would not trust to hold it. This thing is heavy. Um, and this piece of wood, which is interesting, we'll get into that in another video, though, because that's the second piece of wood that is uh, a solution that I needed. This thing is rusted out pretty bad. The, um, the case has holes in it. So that's a problem. And you know, it's, it's kind of weird to me that these rust out like this. These carriers notoriously rust out, and I don't understand why because. In their advertisements for these things back in the 80s, what is that? Ah, who knows? Anyways, uh, their ads for these things back in the 80s specifically touted that the machines were proven, and I'm not really sure how they proved that, but the machines were allegedly proven to last at least 30 years. And so you'd think that they would have designed it with a focus on minimizing rust, yet these rust out like crazy. But it doesn't seem to make any difference. I mean, I've seen ones rusted much worse than this, and they still haven't lost the charge. So it all must just be superficial surface rust, I guess. I don't know. And interestingly enough, a lot of them did last 30 years. I mean, these are... I wouldn't say these are popular still, but they're around. Uh, along with the International Series, there are a good number of those around still. 
I have uh, a video of the International Series installed at my grandparents' house, and uh, which is now which is going on year 35. And uh, a lot of people write in on that video and say I got the same unit and it still runs. So they did something right on these machines. Let's take a look at the uh, information tag. The filter is clean, so there was some attempt made to take care of the unit, and it looked like it's it was cleaned pretty regularly because there's no trace of it being dirty. Um, but there was never a real thorough cleaning beyond that. The coil is covered in mold and dust and who knows what else, and uh, I'm sure the condenser is, is pretty much blocked as well. Oddly enough, the inside of it seems pretty spotless. I don't know if somebody... I have a feeling that somebody might have wiped this out before it was sold because these things aren't aligned quite right anymore. So I feel like maybe somebody was trying to reach in there and mess it up. Let's see if I can... See, it should be... It doesn't really look that bad on the video, but... See, the one on the left is straight and this one on the right is turned, so I'm going to figure out how to fix that. Um, this works, but it's very difficult to move. That whole thing needs to be lubricated or something. It's got that stupid uh, vent, but that doesn't even work. Not that it works anyways. So, the coil is pretty dirty. So we've got to get that cleaned up for sure. And there's a good amount of rust on the inside here too. Although the coil itself seems to be holding up okay. It's not, uh, it doesn't seem to be too rotted. There's some like, I don't know, is that corrosion on there I guess? That white junk? I don't know. There's a lot of it up there. So the informations is the carrier. It is the carrier. Oh, the informations are pretty faded. I'm going to be able to grab the model number off of this. Oh, there it is. The carrier XCA121D. Discreet. Always be discreet. Uh, the amps is 10.5. That's actually pretty efficient for a 12. And, uh, let's see here. Made in Brazil, as was the International Series, and uh, February of 1994, 37 ounces of liquid gold refrigerant. So, it's old. It's, uh, let's see, almost 30 years old. Next year would be... Yeah, it's 29 years old, and it does still work, so just like the advertisement said, it lasts 30 years, which is really quite remarkable. So you can see the damage is uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I, I see these out out in the wild still pretty often. These uh, these were good machines, really good machines. All right, so I'll put the cover back on. I think are we in range here? No. Nope. 
It's got to be just out of range because it's like 64 degrees in here or so. Just warm this up for a second here. There it goes. Where's the cover? Super, super windy. Uh, cover's not going to fit in properly because the I have the thermostat there in the way. Let me just put, uh, put one of these screws in so it doesn't fall off. kilowatt meter out here. I don't think so. Plug is still in good shape. I don't see any uh, I don't see any rust on there or um, molded plug disease forming. And it wasn't heating up at all when I was testing it before so it should be fine. Alright. It does have the same kind of startup sounds that the uh, the other one I videoed has. Oops. I think the fan is very dirty on this because the airflow it's there, but it doesn't seem to come out with quite as much force as I think it should. It could also have something to do with these cuckoo. Uh, things being all bent up that might might be restricting some of the airflow too but uh, it's so quiet I mean, what, a, what a great machine so quiet and we'll go to the medium and that's still quieter than most five thousands of today And that's with the condenser noise as well. High starts making some noise, but that's to be expected. Yeah, the airflow is not quite as much as I would expect. I think the fan's got to be dirty. And you can still feel it blowing clear across the room, but I would expect it to come out a little bit more force than that. And if I go all the way back here, I can still feel it, but I think it should be moving more air. The compressor is a Tecumseh compressor which as far as rotary compressors go I think that's about as good as it gets oh come on there it is and is it where is it made I'm not sure where these were made it says USA at the top but I don't know if that's Stating the country of origin or the destination. This is just not going to focus. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, let's turn it on. already 
noisy but it probably hasn't been running in a long time and it's blowing nice and cold and here we've got uh, 66 and coming out we have 48, 45 so it is working properly I hardly even hear the fan on low. It's great. Medium. The compressor seems to get quieter uh, with the higher fan speed, so I think the condenser is pretty dirty. I also think that maybe the motor is a little bit stiff because that low seems unusually slow. Hi. That's where things really get going. Coil gets cold all the way through, so that's correct. Charge seems fine. And now on high the compressor has finally started to quiet down. It needs some work, needs a good cleaning, and uh, depending on how bad the structural damage is to the to the uh, to the, the base pan, we we'll have to do something with that as well. But we got all the pieces, we got something to work with here at least. <laughs> 